If you've spent any time using Blender add-ons, you probably came across Polygonic, the developers behind many popular Blender add-ons that help you work with stuff like nature assets, weather effects, city setups, vehicles, and more. Generally speaking, stuff that can save you a lot of time. And to make working with these assets easier, you might want to install Engon. They are free and open source asset browser for Blender that we will cover as well. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that Superhive, aka Blender Market, is having right now their spring sale with 25% discount on thousands of products from add-ons, materials, models, courses, you name it. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Internic one of Polygonic's most recent add-ons. Internic brings together tons of interior assets for Blender, covering everything from sofas and chairs to cabinets and full room setups. And this one comes really handy, thanks to Engon, the asset browser add-on. So getting these assets into your projects is pretty straightforward and quick, so you can spend less time hunting and more time creating. With built-in colorization controls, customizing colors is so simple and you can do that right on the models themselves. Plus, some assets come with emissive materials that add subtle lighting touches. Those little details can really lift the mood, I mean the mood of the scene, without much extra effort. Behind the scenes, these assets are designed with optimized geometry to keep your scenes running smoothly while still paying attention to realistic details, like aligned wood grains and carefully mapped materials that can help you avoid flat and generic renders. On top of that, the assets are render ready and include handy presets like place settings for dining tables that can save a bit of setup time when working on interiors. Next, I would like to mention Memsaver, which I think is really important for anyone using Blender, simply because this add-on is designed to cut down VRAM usage, especially during rendering, which comes in handy when working on complex scenes. So instead of manually simplifying geometry or removing assets, it automatically downscales textures that appear small in the final render, helping your scenes load and render more smoothly. It keeps the full quality textures where they matter most and trims memory usage everywhere else. This one is actually ideal for large scale projects like ArcViz, game environments, or anything packed with high res assets. I would like to mention two main features. First, a standard image resize that creates lower res copies and stores them in cache, leaving your original files untouched. Second, we have adaptive resize, which looks at your camera view and adjusts texture size based on how close each object is, keeping nearby objects sharp and scaling down distant ones. Also, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Angon is the free open source asset browser built by Polygonic to make working with their packs a lot smoother. Once installed, it lives in Blender's sidebar and it acts like a central hub for everything, whether you are using Botanic, Traffic, Internic, or any of their other libraries. It gives you quick drag and drop access to all your assets, along with helpful tools like ground snapping, random rotation, and scattering, so you can fill out scenes with natural looking variations without doing everything by hand. You can also filter assets by tags or properties and convert linked assets to editable ones directly from the interface, so there is no need to dig through the outliner. The main idea here is cutting down on clutter. So instead of juggling different importers or asset managers, Angon pulls everything together in one place. Next, we're gonna talk about Aquatic which focuses entirely on animated water effects that are fast to use and easy to customize. Aquatic isn't a fluid simulation tool like Flip Fluids. Instead, it gives you a library of pre-animated 2D water effects, in addition to render-ready fountains and shader-based materials, which are optimized for real-time use in Blender. You can access everything from a dedicated menu that pops up in the side panel once you activate the add-on. And there are three main types of assets here. Single water effects, like sprays and ripples. Modular combinations, 
like fountains and waterfalls, in addition to material shaders that cover various water types, including ocean and shoreline. Because most animations are pre-baked, they play back smoothly without eating up performance. And for added realism, you can paint alpha masks to soften edges and even deform the assets by editing the mesh, making things like curved streams or tapered waterfalls easy to pull off. You also get a material manager that lets you swipe in shaders like frosted or foamy water. And the included sample scene shows how everything comes together using animated node setups. Moving on to vegetation with botanic, which is a solid choice if you want to add trees, grass, and plants, if you want to do that quickly inside the blender. It used to be a standalone add-on, but it is now integrated directly into Angon as an asset pack, running through its custom browser. This gives you access to a wide collection of assets, like trees, shrubs, rocks, vines, and garden props, with clean categories and filtering. You can place individual assets or scatter for groups using presets, like alpine meadows or trimmed lawns. Seasonal variations are built in too. You can swap a tree between summer, fall, or snowy winter versions with just a drop down. There is also a geometry known vine tool, and you can use weight painting or custom article systems to control where things grow. Trees snap to surfaces, and you can randomize rotation and scale for realism, and it can handle it pretty well. But you might still need to convert to editable sometimes, and some axis rotation oddities can pop up during scattering. But it is still one of the most complete vegetation kits out there. Next, we're gonna talk about Traffic, which is Polygonic's dedicated vehicle and traffic asset library. It comes packed with a wide range of ready to use cars, trucks, and transportation related assets, which are designed to blend naturally into urban environments. The assets come with high quality, and many of them include procedural materials and modifiers. So you can add wear and tear, customize paint, and adjust details to the setting. Beyond the vehicles, it also includes traffic lights, road signs, and other props, which can help make your street scenes look more believable and more complete. Everything can be accessed through Angon, I mean the asset browser, and you can filter vehicles by brand, year, model, or region then drag and drop it directly into your scene. If needed, these vehicles are also rigged for animation. Just switch to pose mode and set your keyframes, or hook them to a spline for driving paths. Also, one of the most interesting add-ons developed by Polygonic is called Materialic. This one is a high-resolution PBR material library that includes a wide variety of surfaces like wood, metal, stone, and more. It is available as an asset pack compatible with Angon and Blender's asset browser. Materials have improved categorization, adjusted colors, and went through fixes for EV issues, like GI rendering and alpha blending in transparent materials. You can also control texture scale, rotation, and displacement directly in the interface, with no need to dig into shader nodes, unless you actually want to. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Render Chat which is Polygonic's render manager for Blender. If you're working with multiple cameras, light setups, or output sizes, this tool can save you a lot of time. It lets you store different render presets, resolution, HDRIs, cameras, and even output paths, and switch between them without constantly tweaking your scene. You can just hit the plus button to save a setup. You want a square image for social media? Save it. You need a wide render for a different focal length and lighting? Save that too. Once you're ready, hit render all, and it will go through each one of them automatically. It is not just for stills either. You can queue up multiple animation renders as well, so you are not just stuck setting up alarms just to launch the next shot. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in the add-ons of Polygonic, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.